where we are right now. And I hope that you must be waiting about today's menu. And without further ado, let's start our today's class. And <clears throat> today I have got some riddles for you. So let's see who can answer these. Okay, so one by one, whoever knows the answer, that person can reply. And make sure you are not cheating it. So what has to be broken before you can use it? It's a answer. X. Wow, who say that? Name yourself. Anam. Anam. Very good, Anam. But there can be another answer, and that could be a coconut. Mm -hmm. That yeah. has to be broken before you use it, right? Okay. Now, the next one. I am tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I am tall when I am young and I am short when I am old. What am I? Come on, use your mind. It's okay. I can give you a hint. It is a thing which we use in our daily routine. It has so many colors. It has so many sizes. It is used for decoration sometimes. It is used in celebrations. Is it kind of flower? No. Candle? Oh, yes, this is a candle. Who answered this? Anna. Ah, again. Okay. Yes, so what month of the year has 28 days? February. No, the answer is not February. Come on, use your mind. What month of the year has 28 days? Read the question carefully. Uh -huh. Okay. You give up? Shall I tell it? Can you give me a, a hint? Hint? Uh -uh. How many days are there in January? 31. All, all March. Yes. Uzma, what did you say? Can I? Yes, yes. Uh, uh... Minute connection, but the barber disconnect over there. Number three, what month of oh. the year has 28 days? Just want to write your answer in the chat box. Yes, anybody else? Maria, Moeba, Dania? Months. So, 
I guess Uzma said, Maria Paruki said, every month. Yes, that is correct. Every month has 20 days. Some month has more than 28 days, but it's never less than 28 in any month. Okay. So, number four. What is full of holes, but still holds water? What is full of holes, but still holds water? Tap. Water tap. No, there is a hole in the tap. How does the water come out? And then shower. That is not shower. Okay. This is not a mechanical thing. It's a very simple thing. There is a famous cartoon character with the name of this thing. That cartoon character color is yellow. All yellow. I think it's a Chinese or Japanese cartoon. But yeah, I have also seen English version of this cartoon as well. Okay, another hint. Its shape may be square or rectangle. Sponge. 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 Yes, that is a sponge. It is full of holes and it still holds water. Okay, the second last question. What question can you never answer yes to? There's a question which you can never answer yes. What is that question? There can be a number of questions. I can tell you that. It's all your creativity that how do you find out that? The first but question that in my mind is that, are you mad? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> yes, nobody answered it, yes. <laughs> but yeah, some people can say it like, you know, that sentence, I'm mad in love. So, you know, that kind of sentence says yes to this. Okay, let me tell you. The answer is, are you still asleep? Okay. So if somebody asks you, are you still asleep? You cannot say yes. Why? Because you are sleeping. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one. What is always in front of you but can't be seen? Okay, you there can. is something in front of you, but you cannot see. Our future. Yes, your future. It is in front of you, but you cannot <laughs> see that. Okay, then. So, after this fun-filled appetizers, let's move on to the main course. And in the main course today, we are going to work for describe one word. So there are a list of 10 words, which is hometown, weather, school, teacher, routine, book, mobile phone, computer, music, and games. One by one, you guys will be given a chance to select any one topic out of your choice. And just like yesterday, you'll have to speak Speak on it for almost two minutes. And after you're done speaking, I will ask you some follow-up questions about those particular topics which you select. And for today, I will give you one minute for thinking. 
and in that minute you can figure out what to talk about so the basic hint is whenever you have this short time of thinking and preparing your mind for a topic so let me give you some tips that how can you prepare your mind to talk about something in english in such a short time so the number one is figure out three most relevant wh words topic for instance if i have this first one hometown so quickly i will think three main questions what is my hometown where is my hometown how long i am living in this hometown right three main things and then when i start telling about my hometown then the next stage is good and bad advantages disadvantages merits demerits likes dislikes this kind of combinations i can add on to go further speaking about some topic and whenever we are speaking on we do not rush there is not a race which you have to win in speaking it's all about how you feel it you feel the topic you get your memories if you have some figure out some basic questions and then just go ahead like i am speaking right now i'm not rushing i'm not running behind the times i am just feeling comfortable in speaking i am thinking right now in my mind and i am speaking it out so maintain your speed relax try to connect with the topic maybe emotionally with your memories or something like that and then you start gaining ideas if you are stuck in terms of uh, vocabularies and you are not getting any proper word or proper vocabulary in your mind so i am here you can ask me i can tell you what is the suitable word you can use in that situation all right so tell me are you are ready to do this exercise with me today yes yes that's great so right now i can see six people are here in the class anamali dania shah maria faruqi uzma karim and somebody is logged in with iphone whose name is iphone in the class is it samreen or somebody else or maybe it's muhibba because she said that i can join the class but i cannot participate in it so maria said did you check homework okay maria did you send me the homework if you have not sent it so how can i check it in the, at the end of the class we'll talk about it and i will ask you okay samreen is asking on the chat that meeting id nahi mili so meeting id is already given okay let me tell her that this is the same id okay fine so i am going to give you this first chance to maria thought ke class mein check karwana hai so sorry okay oh yes in the ending of the class i will ask you don't worry i know that i have to check homework i check homeworks actually in the end of the class so yes uh, first of all uzma karim are you ready to speak on Hello Uzma are you there with us Yes yes i am here great uh, connection is very slow that's yes, i i i don't uh, listen your uh, i mean task what you are said okay okay so you can see there is a list of uh, 
again. Ten topics in front of you. You can Hello? see one topic. Right? Then you have one minute for thinking and then two minutes for speaking. So select any one topic out of this list. Okay, so I've got to know that the iPhone member is Javeria, one of my old student. So let me rename her. Okay, so everyone, you can select any topic, whatever you want. It doesn't matter if the topic is repeated because everyone has different thought on a particular word or a particular topic. So it doesn't matter if it is repeated, you have to give in your own ideas. Maria Paruki said, I cannot listen to you clearly. Okay, I am writing the instructions in the chat box. I have written it right here, hopefully. Okay, Anam, can you listen to me right now clearly? Yes, I am. I can. Okay, great. So, let's uh, select any one topic out of the list. Okay, my topic is hometown. Hometown. Now you have one minute exactly to think about it. It is 9.27 and at 9.28 you will start speaking. Okay. Yes, Anam. Are you ready to speak now? Okay, little bit. Great. So go ahead. Okay. My hometown is Larkana. Mm -hmm. I am here from, I think, 2018. <clears throat> I shifted mm -hmm. to Karachi uh, mm -hmm. because of study. And I miss my hometown very much uh, because I have spent my more than 20 years at that village. And I have a lot of memories uh, with my, obviously, Larkana is my birthplace or just emotionally, mm -hmm. I miss those days when we all were kids and our grandma, like Rani, tell us our story, tell, uh, told us the story. And those Sundays uh, which we have spent at our Nani houses, there are a lot of memories which is related, which is which connected me emotionally. And whenever I get the chance uh, to go to my village, even if it is for one day or one month, and I always chase this chance, and I never let it uh, go with this chance, say, I have to go. Right. Yeah. And... Okay, so... Your memories of yeah. yeah, I have a lot of memories. Like I spent my childhood with my sisters, my brother. And like if, if we, uh, when we were uh, children, kids, small kids, we went to school 
and then come out that our car is half time, our tuition. So whenever I went to my home and uh, cross these those streets, so that uh, these all uh, kind of memories just like flashback in my in front of me. I still say I think that I am still a child in my blood. When did you move out from your hometown? Um, well, I was, I think, 25 or 26. Yeah. Okay. So, what is your hometown famous for? Larkana. <laughs> and famous for, obviously, uh, it is Liz of Benazir. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, mostly... It is the most famous about this. Like, uh, it is the hometown of also uh, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and Mohtarma Benazi Bhutto. The political figures of Pakistan. The political figures of Pakistan, yeah. Right. So, in terms of food, what is the speciality of Larkana? Um, this is, uh, there is uh, some type of green vegetable sauce. And it and but the other one is like a fruit, uh, maybe go to me, maybe, maybe karate wala ni khaya ho. B ke naam se wo hoti hai. And there are um, uh, fruits, mein, this, their specialty is pears. Okay. Pears from Larkana are very unique. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. Okay, Adam, thank you so much for participating in this activity. Now I want Samreen Saud to continue with it. So, Samreen, you can select any one topic. Walaikum Asalaam. How are you feeling today? Much better. Oh, That's not good. I That's think I should uh, should missed uh, the class. Uh, I have, yes, you have missed actually the appetizer section. We had mm -hmm. very interesting uh, riddles mm -hmm. in that. So everybody was answering those riddles. Okay, I will um, see in YouTube uh, link. Yeah, you can, you can see that in recorded lecture. Yes. So in the main course, we have this activity where you have to select any one topic. Then you will have one minute exactly to think about it. And after that, for two minutes, you have to continuously to speak on that topic. Okay, I am selecting weather. Weather. Okay, mm -hmm. now you have exactly one minute to think about it. What will you talk? Yes, Samreen. Are you ready to start speaking? Yes. Okay, go ahead. In that case, I live in Karachi, so I want to talk about the Karachi's weather. Karachi's weather is really unpredictable, and it's really, I uh, think, a boring weather. Um, it's uh, really uh, dust and pollution in Karachi, and uh, here have a lot of pollutions um, in uh, summer is uh, really mm, sorry ho nira okay 
No. Hello. Yes, Samri, I can hear you, but I think I can't hear anyone. And then it's screen, uh, screen is yes, my screen is uh disappeared. Hmm. And uh, I can't hear Rabia. No, no, Rabia. I can't hear Rabia. And screen is um, disappeared. Hmm. No chat box is not open. Yeah. He has some internet issues. Oh, I just think today is all right. So, yes, we are back here. Okay, <coughs> Samreen, I'm really sorry. Can you please start from beginning? Uh, about weather, yes, weather. Uh, Karachi's weather is really unpredictable. I think it's uh, more uh, the time uh, of the air is uh, hot. Is uh, no winter proper winter in the Karachi and lots of pollution, lots of dust in Karachi, and uh, mostly people complained about allergy and uh, asthma problem because of pollution. So I don't like Karachi's weather, and I don't like the summer. Of Karachi, and uh, that's it. Okay, so tell me, whenever weather changes, so what kind of issues people have to face? People has to face um, um, this like um, asthma problem. Sinus problem and mm -hmm. uh, fever, flu. I think ninety percent people in Karachi uh, had uh, had faced that kind of problem. Mm -hmm. That's right. What sort of weather is your favorite one? Um, spring. I like spring. And why? What is so special about spring? Spring, spring is um, very pleasant, and uh, because spring is um, just mm -hmm. mm. okay. So tell me, you have already visited like northern areas of Pakistan, like Gilgit and all. So what experience did you have about weather in northern areas? Northern areas uh, weather is really good because uh, main thing in that areas are uh, they don't have pollution, they don't have uh, uh, dust, allergy type things and very clean weather uh, they ha also have summer but 
uh, every weather um, fair um, feeling um, pleasant uh, for human nature i think mm. okay that's right okay now i want javeria to please unmute her mic so we can talk to her Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my uh, yes, my topic is school. Yes. Okay. So you uh, have one minute yes. to think, and then two minutes for speaking. Okay. Thanks. Yes, Javiria. Shall we start now? Yes. Great. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, school. Uh, school is a best foundation for our growth. Uh, we learn every basic things and rules from school. Um, from school, and um, uh, school, uh, school teacher everything is uh, bec uh, without school. We have, we have no any ideas we don't have uh, we don't have any uh, we don't have uh, um, we, uh, we don't have any uh, ups uh, इसको कैसे बोलेंगे हम ऊपर और नहीं चल सकते जब तक हम स्कूलिंग ना करें we don't have uh, we cannot without, we cannot learn yes, properly yes we cannot learn properly so school is uh, school uh, is, uh, we should uh, we should must be learned in school we um, should must be nahi hoga we should learn in school yes we should learn in school so school give us uh, school give us more um, school give us more uh, knowledge uh, more knowledge and, and education and adapted for us and what about confidence and more confidence yes exactly yes that's enough Okay, that's right. It's actually less than two minutes, but okay. So tell me about your school memories. How was your school? Yes, my, my school memories. Uh, I remember everything. I mostly I remember, but uh, nowadays I uh, I remember I remember my school because uh, our uh, because our childhood uh, because our mostly childhood time uh, live lived there so uh, so that's why there our our new friendship uh, new friends and uh, new friends and we grow we grow up together and, and we uh, we learn um, we learn everything there and uh, uh, we learn everything there so my uh, i um, we like uh, we like our teacher and we understand everything uh, from uh, we learn uh, we learn everything from uh, from her na from from, her. from my teachers yes from, uh, from my teacher so so uh, so now uh, that time uh, i uh, i missed i missed that time okay i missed our school right. okay so how many classes were there in your school do you remember that yes uh, i um, uh, my uh, i completed i completed uh, ten, i completed 10 class uh, in one is in only one school 
वन टू टेन ओके क्लास वन टू क्लास टेन राइट यस सो डिड यू स्टडी इन वन स्कूल और डिड यू चेंज पॉइंट ऑफ स्कूल इन योर Yes, I think one school is better for uh, for every children because for every change child. for every child uh, because change the school is it's is different phases so is different uh, is difficult for is difficult to mm -hmm. uh, difficult to children uh, difficult uh, difficult for children di difficult for children because uh, uh their um, their atmosphere change and uh, environment change and teachers change and new uh, and friends uh, and friends uh, friends change so that's why uh, so that's why their uh, so that's why student um, student cannot be student cannot be comfortable uh, uh, comfortable to other uh, other school hmm that's right okay thank you very much for your participation okay you. so now i want maria faruqi assalam alaikum to all alaikum assalam how are you maria alhamdulillah what about you rabia alhamdulillah as good as always so select any one person from the list yeah i have selected hometown hometown okay okay do you have a minute so, for thinking um, I think a lot. <laughs> okay, you have already thought a lot. Okay, now you can. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sakhar is my hometown, and it is the it is situated in province Sindh, and the, it is the third biggest city of the province. Hmm. And uh, I was born there, studied there uh, till graduation, and then I have shifted uh, from Sakhar to Karachi in two thousand six, and. Uh, it was such a, a saddest moment for me because uh, obviously it's my hometown and uh, there are lots of memory uh, school college and uh, locality each and everything is associated, associated with the hometown obviously it's very emotional so it was very emotional for me to leave this uh, my hometown but uh, i did <laughs> and sakhar is uh, as i said the third biggest city of the province sindh and uh, there are lots of uh, educational institute like uh, army public school and nbs sakhar and uh, the uh, famous thing and uh, is uh, river uh, indus river and yeah. the blind dolphin which lives in indus river and it is only uh, uh, blind dolphin is only lives in uh, sakhar in in this river and also there is a barrage sakhar barrage and mm -hmm. bridge uh, rori bridge which uh, connect the uh, rori and sakhar and uh, it is called a u bridge and it mm -hmm. is uh, about 200 years old and it's very beautiful and the main thing and a very amazing thing about that uh, bridge there is no um, any uh, you can say pillar uh kya kahenge ki iske darmiyan mein koi uh, wo nahi hai pillar mm -hmm. nahi hai this bridge is made without any pillar yeah this bridge is made without any <coughs> uh, pillar and uh, there is a um uh, a very famous picnic point which is called labe mehran and it is it is situated uh, it is near uh, situated in near the bank river and it's very beautiful uh, view and visitors are very happy to visit that place uh, outsider and the uh, local yes. residents so it's very beautiful city and the weather of sakhar is almost uh, hot weather but uh, winter is also very you know full uh, people can enjoy all weather mm -hmm. in sakhar winter and summer in summer the uh, weather go uh, temperature goes to 52 mm -hmm. okay. and then winter uh, it's very cold <coughs> so it's very rich in culture uh, there are lots of people uh, belong to sindhi 
and uh, urdu speaking are, all, uh, are also live there it's mixed culture and very rich culture and uh, i think this is enough uh, that's actually quite good so in the beginning you, you mentioned that yeah. uh, it was very sad for you when you shifted yeah. to town so tell me what was the reason for shifting actually there is no other family member uh, my family almost my family uh, lived in karachi only okay. my family uh, was uh, there in sakhar so we have decided to move to karachi move to karachi so that's why okay. that's great so if you compare karachi to sakhar so what major differences you find between these cities differences karachi obviously is a biggest city and lots of opportunities lots of things uh, which are very different it's very busy city very um, you know weather wise it's not good i must say mm-hmm. uh, and uh, water is very different in uh, all areas in karachi while in sakhar only uh, you know river uh, fresh water supplies the water river uh, sorry fresh water supply yeah so sakhar is uh, smaller than karachi but uh, uh one thing which i felt very i feel very um, you know uh, the, there is no uh, people are very uh, uh, they can uh, they don't so kya kahenge ke apne aap mein mangan rehte hain matlab okay so you can say that people are not friendly social not social, not friendly in karachi hmm. i feel yeah it's my experience my opinion uh, you can <laughs> there isn't matter ke dusre kya sochte hain but in okay. sakhar uh, uh, they are very they are they, they bond very uh, closely they live uh, and they you know uh, celebrate each and everything uh, with um uh, uh, together mm-hmm. and sorrows and happiness everyone uh, celebrate each other okay you know that's very good we would really enjoyed it when you were telling about you. your hometown so that's great thank you okay so dania shah has joined us again yes dania are you ready to participate yes dania can you listen to me Yes, yes. Okay. So, Dania, select any one topic. Routine. Routine. Okay. So, tell me your routine. Yes. Start speaking. I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. Okay. I brush my teeth and my face. and uh, i eat breakfast at 10 am 10 am i okay. check my mobile phone and i cleaning my room i clean my room i clean my room and after that what do you do and i'm going to tuition I go to tuition. Bas enough. Okay, chalo, that's right. So tell me what activities do you have in evening? Yes, Nania, tell me what activities do you have in the evening? Mm. tuition center studies karna hoti okay you mostly spend time in the studies yes okay that's right okay so do you have the same routine on sundays as well sunday washing washing dresses clothes okay. machine 
-hmm. Okay, that's right. So, which household chore you like to do? I like uh, uh, pressing clothes. clothes. Is it easy for you? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, that's right. Friendly speaking, I never like pressing clothes. It takes a lot of time and I was really pissed off when I was just doing it. When I was a school or a college student, so the most difficult part for me was to press my uniform and I really hated it. You know, when I finished my college, so my biggest happiness was now I don't have to press my clothes. So that was my biggest happiness when I finished <laughs> my college. Okay. So now, Uzma Kareem, it's your turn. Uh, Anam is same like me. She also hates pressing clothes. <coughs> yes, Uzma. Now you select any one topic. Uh, book. Book. Okay. So tell me what do you want to speak about. Can, can I speak uh, uh, about books or books? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can tell about anything books. Hello? G? Yes, you can tell anything about books. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I uh, I like reading books uh, in uh, Urdu literature mm -hmm. of uh, 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 of uh, uh, different authors and mm -hmm. genres uh, mm -hmm. like uh, 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 comedy, serious, uh, suspense, and horror. And uh, 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 this is my hobby also. And mm -hmm. Uh, this is uh, when I I am childhood uh, in in childhood. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm reading books. Uh, I used to read books. I, I used to read uh, books, and uh, but after marriage, this uh, this activity this activity is uh, discontinued, and then uh, uh, COVID, then. Uh, during COVID, uh, uh, I again connect my reading book habit, mm -hmm. and my speed for reading books improves a lot. Mm -hmm. And I read a different uh, author. Uh, I read different authors. I, I read uh, uh, different authors like uh, 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 Nazia Kamran Kashif and uh, Alina Fan and Mantos. Uh, Manto, Sadat Hassan mm -hmm. Manto, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, uh, Nadim Hashmi, mm -hmm. etc. And uh, I enjoy reading a book. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I I very much enjoy a book uh, reading. Uh, and my favorite books is is uh, Bermuda Triangle. Mm -hmm. I uh, I I I like most. Uh, I like most fiction also. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, the advantages of reading book is uh, to increase your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, uh, in my case, I'm reading books only Urdu. I'm not okay. reading books in English. Okay. So I have, haven't any vocabulary to speak properly. Okay. Uh, I I I have less vocabulary, so I uh, uh, when I talk eat, uh, to other and my family and my kids, so mm -hmm. I haven't any words. But okay. in Urdu, uh, I in Urdu I am very fluent, and mm -hmm. I have very much uh, vocabulary and mm -hmm. ideas. But mm -hmm. it, but uh, it's my disadvantage. Uh, or I think uh, disadvantage too because I I'm not reading English book, mm -hmm. so uh, that's why I'm uh, when I talk uh, other people I'm hesitate because we I haven't okay. any vocabulary. Okay. So uh, uh, when you read a book, so please uh, uh, this is my opinion or then uh, suggestion advice uh, yes and suggestion. To you and your kids, 
to read book uh, uh, balancedly matlab i mean english and urdu both the hmm. books you have to read hmm. then you have uh, balance your vocabularies in urdu and english hmm. that's right hmm. So right now also you can start reading and it's better if you are at the stage so you can start reading from children book like course book of maybe class 1 or class 2 there are quite of a lot of stories written in it so that would help you to understand the language structures how we make sentences how we use vocabularies yes so yeah that's how you can yes. improve yourself because learning has no age learning has no limit at all you can yes. do it any time yes, so yes, right yes. now also if you are keen on reading so i must suggest you to start reading with some english magazines like uh, there is a magazine called the mag weekly and okay. in this magazine you will find different topics like about technology there are stories there are games yes. there are latest news about happening there are things about tells about uh, fav uh, famous places in the world so it's a mixed kind of a magazine in which you have multiple topics okay. so that you, when you start reading it so you will improve your vocabulary you will improve your sentences and you yes. will improve your knowledge as well because yes. when you have a lot of ideas when you have a lot of knowledge then you feel interest and you take interest in speaking in english Okay. Yes. When I when I, I suggestion I, to everyone complete, start reading this magazine. Yes. When I uh, uh, complete my studies, I made and B. Ed. Mm hmm. I uh, when I connected the studies, uh, I'm I'm I have very much vocabulary and confidence in English language uh, mm -hmm. command of English language. Mm hmm. But after marriage, uh, the huge uh, gap. Uh, hmm. uh, books and studies and मतलब बहुत गैप आ गया था जिस वजह से मतलब it is fifteen to fourteen years gap hmm. in my and you uh, became out of touch yes yes when I uh, use social media and I I uh, in one of the group and hmm. I when I uh, write there English and Urdu then I again practicing my english language and urdu hmm uh, i think i uh, i'm writing 100 word stories mm -hmm. and i recall my words and uh, vocabularies or matlab sab mujhe recall hone laga matlab ka lamba gap ke baad main kar payi that's so, right so you uh, just need a practice with continuous yes. practice you can learn anything in this world there is not a big deal at all Yes. So, yes. For, it, same happens with English speaking. When you do speaking on daily basis, like this class, or you are trying to write through social media, and you are writing stories and paragraphs, and you know these sort of things, definitely you will def improve it one day. Yes, inshallah, inshallah. Like Maria writes in the chat box that after this course, your opinion will be changed, inshallah. I hope so that your opinion will be changed after this course because. what we all try is a continuous practice without hesitation and when you uh, overcome your hesitation you just tame this beast so then everything becomes easy for you yes yes now inshallah, let's inshallah. come on to the sweet treat let's see what sweet treat do we have in today so in the sweet treat we have vocabulary expansion so i have a few words for you here ओके एकोमोडेशन जिस तरह की जगह में हम रहते हैं इट कैन बी अ हाउस कैन बी अ फ्लैट इट कैन बी एन अपार्टमेंट विला और मैंशन ओके फ्लैट और अपार्टमेंट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस इन इट फ्लैट इज एन अमेरिकन टर्म एंड अपार्टमेंट इज अ ब्रिटिश टर्म द बोथ आर सेम देन विला इज समथिंग इज बिगर इन द साइज और मैंशन लाइक हवेली सो दैट इज इन इंग्लिश इट्स कॉल्ड अ मैंशन then season weather and climate so season is something which changes over the months mahino mein jo change hota hai use hum kehte hain season weather can be changed daily season can be like summer winter autumn spring and weather can be like sunny cloudy humid windy 
these kind of weathers can be there and each day we have different weather and climate climate is the type of regular weather of a place due to its geography kisi bhi jagah ka jo mustaqil mausam rehta hai use hum climate kehte hain for example karachi climate is humid and hot gilgit climate is cool and cold right mostly summers are there so it is the permanent nature of weather of some place so that is called climate atlas atlas is a book of maps a book which is having maps for different places that is called atlas okay maria is asking in the chat what is beast beast is mm, beast means animals do you remember that story beauty and the beast so in that story you must see a beautiful girl and uh, animal like person who was ultimate hero of that um, story so beast means animal okay watch look see gaza okay ye gaza ho gaya but this is gaze watch look see and gaze watch means dekhna lekin uh, attention ke sath dekhna like you watch a movie or you watch a video so that is watch look look means to see something with partial attention aadhi attention ke sath kuch dekhna so that is called look then c c means koi cheez dekhna lekin uh aadhi uh, attention ke sath ya phir chalte phirte dekhna so that is called c aur maine kal ki bhi bataya tha c means also mulaqat to meet something aur gaze gaze matlab kisi ko gusse se ghoorna and iske baad ek glare bhi tha glare matlab kisi ko continuously ya kisi cheez ko continuously dekhte rehna that is glare then we also studied about recite read and study uh, household items popsicles wheelbarrow handcart and hawker these kind of vocabularies we have studied already in the class yesterday so i hope so there is no need to uh, repeat it again because we are out of time right now as well and whoever has done the homework send me in the whatsapp group i will check it out over there and i will give my feedback remarks on your sentences so if you have written on a paper click a picture and just send it to the group and if you have written on the phone so just type in a message and then send me your sentences of homework so that we can check it out and i can tell you that what is right and what is wrong about your sentence so yeah this was all about today's class hope you enjoyed and learned tomorrow in kolkata we will start a new activity which will definitely give us the space of speaking uh, anna mari says i have written in the word file okay anna you can send me that word file in the group i will check it i forgot to do the homework <laughs> okay now you got it again i have remind you so whoever has forgotten so now you can uh, remember it and just do it you have 24 hours we have class tomorrow at 9 o'clock so before 9 o'clock o'clock 9 pm tomorrow you can send me your homework i will check it up and i will definitely give my feedback on it so it was all about today hopefully it was a nice class i'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 pm till then take care of yourselves good night allah hafiz